Today is the day. We are not promised tomorrow. Sometimes God just wants to shake things up, and he's done that today. And he's been glorified through all of this. And so as we continue our worship with communion, we want to welcome those that are watching online to participate with us. And if you did not receive communion elements when you came in, would you raise your hand? And they'll be happy to bring them to you. I see a few hands all over. Thank you, guys. God's got something on his heart today. And this morning, he just kept talking to me about unity. Everybody say that, unity. Colossians 3, 13 through 14 says, Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive how? As the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect, what's that word? Unity, in perfect unity. And then in 1 Corinthians 10, 17, it says, For we, though many, are one bread and one body, for we all partake of that one bread. So when we come together on a weekly basis, to take communion, we're coming together in unity. That's what's on God's heart. It's a word for this church today. I really believe it. And we got to see what unity looks like when, when the body came around. And I saw so many people wiping their tears. When we begin to cry out for something that's on God's heart, that's what unity looks like. And this morning, I just could not get this off of my mind. I just walked around the house and I kept saying, as much as it depends on me, let me live in unity. As much as it depends on me, let me live in unity. As much as it depends on me, let me live in unity. After you said that 10 or 15 or 20 times, God then gets a hold of your heart in such a way that you can't explain it and the tears come up. But whenever I have a scripture like that in my mind, sometimes I think, maybe I don't have it exactly like the Bible says. So I looked it up, Romans 12, 18. It says, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, who is that you? Everybody point to that you. Yeah, that you is me. Live at peace. But it says, with everyone. I wasn't saying that. As much as it depends on me, let me live at peace. But God says, with everyone. That means even the people that I don't necessarily gravitate to. God loves every single person. And today, I believe, that's why we did some deliverance in the house. Because we have not been in unity in the way God wants us to be in unity. And today, as we take our communion I want us to pause a minute and say is there somebody that you need to forgive because it says as much as it depends upon you which is that you as me maybe there's somebody that we each individually need to forgive and maybe it even requires you going to them maybe it requires after church you making a phone call I don't know only you because it's about us being in unity for the glory of God. Let's pause for a minute. Father, I just take this today in all seriousness I choose unity because that your word says that we are one body we are one bread that's your goal so I want it to be my goal I thank you for that go ahead and take your bread as we take the juice we are reminded of all that you did for us on the cross the price you paid through your death 
through your burial and through your resurrection. May we never take it for granted. May we never take it for granted. You said, do this in remembrance of me, in Jesus' name. I want to remind you that communion is one of the tools that God put in our tool belts. And we're going to have a bucket of communion to take with you. I did communion with somebody in the locker room this week who has a cancer spot on their head. Did God heal her? I don't know yet. But I believe, I believe, help thou my unbelief. I want to encourage you to begin to pray for people and take communion with them wherever you're at for the glory of God. And all God's people said, can I welcome my husband and your pastor and apostle, Pastor Pete Mullins in Jesus' name.